I, I see this as an absolute win. Yo, Doug. Whoa. What's with the hologram? Well, I thought today we could do an Avengers Endgame hologram effect. Yeah, sure. That seems kind of cool, but, uh... What happened to the Iron Man suit up? Hmm? Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And on today's show, we are taking on the hologram effect from Avengers Endgame. But before we do that, let's hear a little word from our sponsor. Hey there, gang. If you're in the need for industry standard VFX assets, then Action VFX is the site for you. They have virtually everything you need all under one roof. We're talking blood and gore, debris and impact, explosions, fire, gun effects, particles, smoke, sound effects, water, and weather. Oh, and did I mention they have a whole page just full of free effects for you to download? Cause they do. And all of these are available in 2K, 4K, and sometimes even bigger than that. What's that you say? Not good enough for you? Well, it's good enough for Hollywood. Action VFX assets have been used on major motion pictures and huge TV shows that you know and love. In fact, here's just a few examples. So whether you want just an individual VFX asset or a bundle, or the fabled Action VFX drive that contains everything they've ever made, Action VFX has you covered, baby. And if you use the code FILMLEARN at checkout, you get an extra 10% off. So that's pretty good. So click the link in the description and head on over to actionvfx.com and get yourself a little action. Thank you, pre-recorded Grant. Now gang, in order to complete this effect is really, really simple because I've made this sort of a preset template. All you have to do is just shoot your actor on a green screen in a relatively tight medium shot. And that's it. Well, apart from going to filmlearn.com slash downloads and grabbing the Avengers Endgame Hologram Download Pack, which contains everything you are going to need to finish this effect with no third-party plugins. So how about I shut up and let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and I've got the Avengers Hologram preset template, whatever you want to call it, I've got it open. And I just want to show you just how easy it is to work with. So you can see we have Final, we've got Hollow, we've got Actor, and we've got Panel. Now the panel is just the actual panel itself. The Actor is just the Actor footage. The Hologram is all these components working together and the Final is all those components and some bars and a little bit of luma matting happening just to fade the hologram up. So here's how easy this is. We want to replace this actor, right? So all we're going to do is just go into the actor comp. And we'll just turn that off. And then I've got some newly keyed footage here. You can see that in this one, I'm actually facing a different direction. So I'm just going to pop that in. And if we just go to final, you can see it auto updates and the dots are on the wrong side, but it works. That's the important takeaway here, it works. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna customize this. So we'll go from actor to hollow. Now you can see I'm outside the panel. So what we're gonna do is just gonna grab our three actor layers here, hit P to bring up position, and let's just move him inside the hologram panel. Nice, okay. So next, you can see the dots are on the wrong side. So all we're gonna do is just delete this mask here. So all I'm gonna do is just highlight both of these layers because they both have effects on them. I'm just gonna hit M and we're going to delete that mask. And you can see some crazy stuff's gonna happen, but that's okay. So all I'm gonna do is just turn those off, select our top layer, grab the pen tool, and I'm just gonna draw a rough mask just around the edge of our actor here, all the way down. Don't be shy. Bam, done. Then I'm just gonna hit F, feather it out around 140 pixels because we want this nice and soft. And then when I turn that on, we've got our dots back. Now, because our actor moves a little bit, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click on the mask, hit track mask, and I'm just going to hit the play button and just track the mask. So no matter what movement my actor does, which is pretty subtle, 
the mask is going to follow it. So I'll hit play and then I'll come back when that's all tracked. Okay, so that tracking's all done now. That's going to follow him the entire comp. Now, all we have to do now is just grab that mask, copy it, and paste it onto the layer below. Activate it. And there's our glow as well. Now, would you believe me if I said we were all done? Probably not, but now if we go to final, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to say. We are all done. So, guys, if you want to remove the bars, you can totally do that. I'm just going to keep them there. But, yeah, if we just check out a quick preview. That, my friends, is another effect. Mm, done. Now, gang, before I let you go, I just wanted to let you know that part of the hologram panel is actually some components from the free VFX section of actionvfx.com. They have a whole bunch of free effects. We've got free blasters, free lightning. I've actually used parts of the fresher glass textures and the lens dirt overlays to build that panel for the Avengers hologram effect. But there is so much more on offer here, guys. So make sure you head over to Action VFX, click on the free VFX section, and just go nuts. The link is in the description. Now, gang, even though the tutorial is over, I just want to say I highly encourage you to open the holo section, open the panel section, and just see all the little components that went together to create this effect and have a play with every single one of them and make this one your own as much as possible. It took quite a bit of experimentation to achieve this effect and gang, that's what it's all about. So jump in there, have a bit of a look, see all the different things that went into this to actually make it work and just have fun with it. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Yo, Doug. Whoa, what's with the hologram? Well, I thought today we could do an Avengers Endgame hologram effect. Yeah, sure, that seems kind of cool, but uh, what happened to the Iron Man suit up? Hmm? So guys, that is my take on the hologram effect from Avengers Endgame. As you can see, this thing is really, really easy to use because, well, I made it that way. And also the fact that it has no third party plugins, well, that ain't too bad either. My God. So gang, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please smash that like button. I really appreciate it and it does help that. And hey, if you have any requests at all, leave them in the comment section because I read them all. I am gonna be pretty busy over the next couple of weeks because, in all seriousness, my daughter could be born at any time. Any time. So if I suddenly stop posting regular tutorials, you'll know why. I will put an announcement up on the channel when she's actually born. I mean, I'm excited and terrified at the same time. But for now guys, that's all I got for you. Now if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. We've got over 300 videos on the channel and there's a couple of them right over here. Maybe a playlist or two? Not sure about that. We've also got my social media here if you want to see any sort of behind the scenes or just random crap that spews out of my head. We've also got our Patreon there if you want to help support us or you can click that join button below and support us directly in YouTube. But until I see you again guys, keep learning.